only his second OHL season, London Knights forward Mitch Marner has emerged as one of the league's most dazzling playmakers and top point producers. Coming to London last year as a wide-eyed 16-year-old rookie, Marner joined a Knights team that had won back-to-back -back OHL championships and was set to host the 2014 Memorial Cup. You know, obviously the first time I went there, seeing the arena was speechless. Um, you know, it's a special arena, seeing everyone's jersey hanging up and walking in that room and knowing all the great names that have been played there. And, um, you know, obviously knowing that you're going to play in a Mem Cup your first year, you know, you're kind of speechless about that. And, you know, people are lucky to play in a Mem Cup for through five years. And, you know, I was lucky enough to play in my first year. So uh, I was very thankful for that. And you know, I learned a lot of things in that year. In his first season, Marner exceeded the expectations of the London coaching staff contributing to a Knights forward core stacked with veteran talent and finishing second in OHL rookie scoring. For him to have 59 points and, you know, to be up there right with Travis Konechny, I mean, uh, I, I, we, we were very happy with his, with his performance. I mean, he, he played both sides of the puck, created offense, created defense, and, you know, he started on the fourth line at the start of the year, and by the end he was out on the power play in the playoffs and the Memorial Cup, so that kind of speaks to the type of player that he is. With the graduation of team leaders like Bo Horvat, Chris Tierney, and Ryan Rupert, the Knights look for even bigger things this season from a 17-year-old Mitch Marner. Well, you know, obviously last year our team was very special. You know, we had a lot of special players that have moved on now to the AHL, NHL, and stuff like that. And um, you know what? Now you got to step up into those roles, and you got to take all the responsibility for yourself. Um, you're not just a little boy anymore. You're you're now kind of growing up into a man. And um, you know, if you want to play in that next level, that's what you got to do. You got to be able to step up into those moments and. You know, you can't, you can't fall down, you gotta keep your head up, and you know what, you gotta, you gotta go right through that wall. And across the line, looking for Klima, Marner, look at that, front, shoot, oh, I lost it! Once again, Marner has delivered beyond expectations. As the OHL season entered its final quarter, the dynamic winger was the league leader in goals and points. Often skating on London's top line with Christian Dvorak and Max Domi, Marner has averaged better than two points per game. His passing ability and, and and just his hockey IQ on the ice, you know, he sees the ice very well. Uh, it is able to make speed, it plays at high speeds and, and create space for himself out there, you know. He's, he's able to create gaps between defensemen when there isn't any and, and he uses his edges pretty well to be able to do that. The Knights have looked to capitalize on Marner's uncanny playmaking abilities by having him man the point on one of the league's best power play units. You know, being back there, you really get to see the whole kind of power play and see all the ice and, you know, see where the penalty killers are. And, um, you know, I kind of like having that view and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I, I kind of just grown on to that kind of role and, you know, I'll take it. Now in his National Hockey League draft year, Marner was rated seventh in North America on NHL Central Scouting's midseason rankings. At 5'11", 165 pounds, Marner is smaller but elusive. His unique skill set has drawn comparisons to former London superstar Patrick Kane, whose size has never worked against him. Yeah, I think there is some similar traits there. I mean, anytime you're comparing, you know, a young kid that's 17 to, you know, one of the best players in the world, it is putting some lofty expectations on his shoulder. But, you know, we definitely see some comparisons as far as their playmaking ability and and their way that the way that you know Pat Kane is able to make the game speed his pace. And, and dictate the play when he's on the ice and, and Mitch has some of those capabilities but at the end of the day he's going to be his own player and he, he's going to leave his own mark on the game. Rebound Marner scores! As he looks forward to the NHL draft and beyond, Marner remembers his earliest days in the game and who helped him get where he is. It was a lot of fun being in minor hockey playing, uh, a lot of road trips, a lot of tournaments, a lot of long weekends that you, your parents spent with you. And, um, you know, you're very thankful for those times with them and, you know, now you just want to reach as high as you can for those, for those guys and, you know, they've been there since day one and, you know, they're never going to leave your side uh, until this is over, so, you know, you're very thankful for them. For Inside the O, I'm Chris Schooley.